What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Welcome back, uh, good to see you again. It's, um, you know, in the first time in a while, it's actually been a few days for me. I have been off doing other things, uh, playing a lot of uh, other video games, which is good, because I was feeling like I might start getting a little bit burnt out on Minecraft, because I'm playing like four different packs right now. And, uh, yeah, I need to take a little break, so I did. Um, I am in between, like, a thousand different projects right now. Like, I'm, I'm working on something with this, with this, with this. I'm working on something with Britannia. I'm working on, like, three different things with Britannia. I'm working on something with my cows. I'm working on just so many different projects. Um, let's start with the cows. I moved a bunch of cows into a 5x5 area, hooked them up to a rancher, which milks them, and um, I currently have 430 odd buckets in there, and if I turn on this cyclic assembler, it crafts the milk into milk buckets, which you get four of, so yeah, it's also extraordinarily fast. I put speed upgrades in there, but that doesn't actually, as far as I'm aware, do anything for cyclic assemblers. And there we have the 64. There we have a full thing. A full barrel of milk. Um, which I'm going to take. And I'm just going to stick that down there for now. So what I'm actually working on is... Um, one thing I want for Britannia is better mana gen. And now that I know the uh, these crystals from Automagy work... Because I wasn't sure they... The fuck was that? I wasn't sure they actually worked. Oh, by the way, got a brain in a jar. Creepy little bastard stares at you. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure those crystals worked, but they do, and they are essentially um, a less good version of red wire, or like uh, you know any any form of redstone wire or red cable that lets you transmit power easily like that. Uh, these need to be turned off. I love the noise these things make, by the way. I've got to say, I'm actually a big fan of it. Especially since when there's more of them, the noise is louder and more intense. And then it fades away. <laughs> nice. Um, uh, yeah, right now I'm, I'm auto-crafting 4,000 stacks of um, salt. That's what it's called. Uh, so yeah, my, the power I'm going to be getting for Britannia, I'm going to go with um, the Gory Murray. I can never remember the name of that damn flower. The one that eats food. And obviously, I'm just going to feed it the same food I'm eating. Because um, the things that matter for the Gory about generating mana, it generates more mana for the more hunger the, f the food f heals. And it generates it for longer like more seconds or more ticks based on the amount of saturation the food gives. So making this, which I'm pretty sure is essentially the best food in the entire game, and it's not even that hard to make. So I've got a, um, a, a bread to flour, to uh, no, a wheat to flour, because uh, this is the good flour by the way, the applied energistics, and it smelts straight into one bread, so macerate the wheat, cook it, cook it, out comes your toast. That's like a third of the uh, the meal already made right there. So I need to remember what my key bindings are, yeah. So then after that, you just add some tofu or beef, and I can grow beef, then cheese, then lettuce and tomato, and then fries and smoothie. And I should have about 10 stacks of everything right now, because I just went and made a fuckload so that I wouldn't like ever run out anytime soon. And um, I was considering fully automating it, but I really don't think I'm going to need it. It depends, actually, because the reason I want to get a whole b bunch of more Britannia going is for this guy, the Terror Shatterer. I've never used it before, but I'm a big fan. And, um, basically, it's uh, it's a fairly decent... Wow! It's a really decent pickaxe. I was not expecting it to destrolish. Um, yeah, it's a fairly decent pickaxe. Uh, and you may have noticed it didn't drop anything there. I put an enchant on it called Consuming? And that means basically anything, like uh, stone, cobble, netherrack, endstone, the basic building blocks, any any of those it destroys, do not actually get harvested. Hi. 
nice. Uh, but the good thing about the Terror Shatterer, the great thing, is that you can empower it, and it, depending on its level, it will break a wider area. Right now it's level B, or it's rank B, out of double S, so it needs to go B, A, S, and then S, S. So, it breaks a 3x3, three by, three, uh, by 1. Yeah, by 1. It does destrolish though, which is nice. So yeah, it breaks a 3x3x1, three by three by and um, the way you upgrade it is kind of strange. You basically treat it like a mana tablet and just chuck it on top of your mana pool, and it absorbs mana, and the more mana it absorbs, the higher its rank. Which is kind of strange. So yeah, as you can see, it's now slightly further along the level of B. But um, as it ranks up, evolves, whatever you want to call it, it's going to get bigger and bigger till eventually it will probably be able to break this entire thing, which is I think a 9x9. Nine nine. I'm pretty sure it's going to go like 3x3, three 5x5, by 7x7, three, five by 9x9, five, seven by seven, nine by nine, and 9x9 nine nine will be the SS rank. So that's something I'm uh, playing around with, because I've never used it before. And I'm actually... I'm taking this as an opportunity to play with a whole bunch of shit I've never played with before, and just experiment with stuff. And, uh, yeah. Like, I'm, I was experimenting the other day with putting Blazing Pyrothium in here, instead of Lava, because it allows you to heat stuff to a larger degree, which I think is really cool. Like, I had problems where I couldn't heat stuff, um... What was that noise? I have no idea. Um, I couldn't heat, like, redstone blocks and stuff like that, or ender pearls, because the, uh, they needed a heat that was slightly too high, and, hang on, there we go, um, yeah, the way you do that is by uh, Blazing Pyrothium, which is pretty cool, so I'm definitely going to play around with that, but, um, the main focus of what I actually want to play around with today is the Thormic Energistic stuff. I spent a little bit of time reading about this and I saw someone uh, playing around with some of it. So I've made the basic arcane crafting table here. Uh, arcane crafting terminal. Let me just grab. I don't need that out and I don't need that out. What I do need is that. Yes. Um, energistics. So, um, the first thing you make is this, which is very simple. Terminal, arcane workbench, calculation press, uh, processor. It essentially acts like an arcane workbench, but it has um, it's got an automatic armor swapping slot. Well, not automatic, but one press armor swap. So you see now it's uh, 54%. Now it's 70%. And you can also shift click recipes in there, which is the thing I'm happy about the most. So say I want to make like a sliver of the earth. I don't know what this page comes from, but this page doesn't work. This um, this one you can shift click in. And then it tells you how much it takes, and you can, and it will pull from your your uh, AE system just like that. So it is essentially exactly what you would expect. It is an arcane crafting table and a thormic um, uh, applied energistics terminal just stuck together, and it works. It's gorgeous. I love it. Looking at some of the other stuff in this mod, I'm kind of scared. Oh, what's this? V relay interface. Ooh. Ooh, I think I know what this is. And if it, if it is what it, I think it is, I want it so fucking bad. Motherfucker it is. The V-Relay interface, I believe, is a way of charging your wand while it's in the table from an energized node, like you can with this, with the V-Relay in one of these. Oh man, I am going to have to play around with that. What's this? Arcane Assembler. So, there's an awful lot of stuff in here. An awful lot of stuff. And I kind of want to play around with a little bit of all of it. So, I think the best thing to do is look at what our quest has for us. I've got a couple of quests knocked out. Um, applied Engineering. Okay, so Ascentia Terminal, Ascentia Import Bus. Sentia Provider, Infusion. I want to make the Infusion Provider first, I think. I'm going to need a Coalescence, a couple of Coalescence cores. So, um... Yeah, um, I kind of want to make this first, and then use it for other stuff. So, we're going to need a couple of Sentia Mirrors. 
Three iron, end of pearl, and a mirror. Oh, I need some quicksilver. Yes, yeah, so that's another thing I did. I sieved a bunch of stacks of sand, probably like a hundred or so, to make sure I had enough quicksilver to be making everything. Because I noticed that a lot of this stuff uses a fuck ton of quicksilver. I mean, it may not be actually that much, but when you consider how much you, um, like, how much you actually have, uh, god damn it, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, when you consider how much quicksilver you actually get, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of a lot. So make a couple of those. Oh, I've already made these and scanned them. I don't know why I've already made these. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna need... I don't want the hand mirror, I want these. Uh, I'm gonna need some ITAR. I don't think I've got ITAR. What are you arring about, Pekka? I do have ITAR, sweet. So I just need... Underpoles. And iron. Oiron. And just because I made this specifically for this reason. So I did a whole bunch of um, research that I said I was going to do. Turns out I did a little too much. Oh. And I actually can't get rid of enough warp now. Is that how you do this? No, it's the other way around. So yeah, I actually can't get rid of enough warp. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, the warp I'm at is the lowest amount of warp I can get to right now. I don't know if there's going to be a way of getting me lower later. But right now, uh, that's my warp level. And I think, pretty sure it's all permanent. I used over a stack of uh, purifying soaps. Yeah, these. While sitting inside the liquid. To try and... Um, fix myself up and I could not get any lower than this and I got to here after about half a stack. Wow, that thing grew. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I can really get any lower than I already am. And there's a joke in there somewhere about me being a scumbag. I don't know. I don't think I'm a scumbag. Bit of a dick, definitely. Um, right, so once we've got these... Uh, we're going to need the coalescence cores so I can make those. Christ, um, I think it's these ones. Which means I'm actually going to need... Probably shouldn't have just tried to make a stack of those. But that's good because uh, it caught me before I did. And then I'm going to need... These... Um, ah, no fluke dust. Flukes. <laughs> Where is my... Pulverizer, there you are. Oh. You can't pulverize for those, eh? Um, can't pulverize those for them, anyway. Well, I'm always going to need more fluics, so, uh, not going to hurt me to go ahead and make it. I was wondering what the noise was. It's the fucking thing itself, isn't it? The thing. Um, there's my second mirror. Do you know what? I should probably make another one just in case. It's not like I'm low on, you know, a sentia or anything. And it's not like I need to pay attention to my crafting because it's, you know, like 110% fucking secure and safe. Alright, there's that. Uh, what, what did I make? I made the Annihilation, so let's make some more Formation Cores. Which are these ones. Fine, whatever, I'm out of those. Then let's make... Oh, I'm going to need Quicksilver Droops. Oh yeah, that's right. Second recipe is the one that shift clicks in. Kind of annoying, but I, I will put up with a lot of shit that if it lets me use applied energy sticks to make Thorncraft shit. Like, if you, ha if you haven't spent years of your life playing Thorncraft and wishing that exactly this sort of stuff could exist, then you kind of don't really know where I'm coming from, because that is exactly where I'm coming from. 
Right. Gonna need some sailors, some air shards. We're gonna need auto palm prey. Auto's good, prey's good. Palm is good. Machina. There's enough. There's also spares of all of them over here, I believe. So, oh uh, yeah, two sailors. Actually, you might just have some in here. Um, cannot find any sailors. There it is. Two sailors. Air shards. So, there's the two cores. There's the two mirrors. There's the two air shards. There's the two sailors. And what goes in the center for this crafting recipe? That I have no idea. Um, an ME interface. Hmm. I uh, don't often use ME interfaces. I know that you can very easily like automate pretty much anything that can be crafted with an ME interface. But I'm not... Um, like you guys know, I, I like it. I like automation, but I'm not a massive fan of it. I'm not going to go way out of my way to automate stuff. Nope, something's wrong. Uh, coalescence. Oh, it's two coalescence cores. That one's the coalescence. This was the diffusion. There we go. Now, this might take a little while to do, but like I said, I really don't need to worry much about um, negative effects. I still do, but, you know, I still panic about building thermal expansion machines because when I first started playing modded, I was using um, industrial craft machines, and those things are terrifying because if they get, like, too much power or if they, like, stop running for a little bit and then start running again, they can just fucking break explode as well. I remember when I first started using them, um, you still had to put like macerators near water to act as coolant for them. That's how long I've been uh, fucking around with mods for. It's almost done? Ah, almost. So what I'm basically doing here is I'm going to craft a thing and then tell you what it does. I mean, you've probably read what it does as I'm flicking through the book, or you just know what it does because it sounds rather obvious. Or you know this mod, but uh, that's the thing. I don't know this mod, and I don't know exactly how this is going to work, but I can't fucking wait to try it. I am so excited. Look at that block. That is a nice looking block. It does not have as much aspect as I would have uh, imagined on it. So, uh, let me just put these away. <laughs> now that we have this, we want to build the stuff to go along with it. So, we're going to need Essentia import buses, which is going to take some water jars, and yeah, that's not a problem. Oh, we're missing nearly all of it. Oh, maybe it will be a little bit of a problem then. Ah, oh, nah. I've got everything I need in here. Um, filter descent of your tubes. There we go. Um, second set of recipes. Okay, I need my tubes. I mean, I might just have some filter descent of your stuff in here. Um, what I really need to do is just take everything from here and stick it all into my AE system. That would be the best way of doing this. But, the sooner I do that, the sooner I have to stop worrying about things. Um, uh, import, export should be able to hold four. Let me just check. Uh, four, yeah. God damn it. These are the, um, the cards that make everything just run faster. And I'm going to want these. 
So yeah, you guys aren't going to believe what I can do with this. Or maybe you will, because uh, it's you know kind of the whole idea of this mod. Uh, da, da, da. I hope I scared someone really badly there by falling off the platform. Then again, you can just look up and see that my uh, my jetpack has power in it, so there's really no threat of me dying at all. Uh, now I need some cabla. And then to go with this, we are going to need a set of storage drives, which are uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass to make, i got to say. Oh, there's only the one recipe coming up, so I can't shift-click it in. Is that right? Oh, there we go. So this charged works as well. Fine. Um, what was in the center of that? Oh, and out of logic processors. Oh, yeah, you know, I haven't actually hooked this shit up. I've just got it, like, sitting here. So, I guess what I should do is grab that, and some gold, and turn my HUD back on. Yeah, this runs pretty damn fast because of the five acceleration cards. But one of these is enough for now, uh, just to test this this out. So we then do this. Need some warded glass. I actually already used a fuck ton of warded glass earlier when I was building other stuff. And termium. There's my termium. Actually, yeah, that's the thing. In another episode, I was talking about. Um, I was looking at the heads. And I was saying about some other YouTubers and, like, some I used to watch. And, um, it was thinking, I think it was actually Anderzel that I picked up Termium from. Because, you know, funny foreign YouTuber has a weird accent and says words differently than I do. So, of course, I just started using that because I, uh, I love it when he says it. It always makes me laugh because it sounds so stupid. Not, uh, okay, that, that just sounds bad. That just... I'm just sounding a little racist there. Uh, put those on, and then... Oh, by the way, I added a bunch of bookshelves and a bunch of crystals near my desk, because they, um, they make aspects... Okay. Um, I just got an achievement for some reason. They make... Um, aspects like uh, less likely to be used when you're crafting certain things and they also can refill your aspects so it's basically a way of getting some free stuff so what we have now is a hole in the floor and I need some stone because I do not like holes in the floor That's how much I don't like holes in the floor. Although this is applied in logistics, so I could just um, make a cover, I suppose. Uh, where is my saw? seem to work. It's definitely a multi-block. Just doesn't seem to like the cover. Maybe if I put it there? No, that won't work. Ah, who gives a fuck? Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's because it's not covers you use. It's, um... What are they called? What are these called? Uh, facades. Hmm, hang on, uh... Look, click up there. Cable anchors is what you need. And... They are facades, I was right. Really? Just can't put one on the top of it? Fine. 
Fuck you then, I don't, I don't want to put it on there anyway. Ugh. But um, yeah, basically what we have is an import bus with some speed cards and you stick a jar on top of it and it imports that into the network. And basically, I can remove the labels from my other jars and um, yeah, I have now got a way of uh, I need a... Huh, this one can apparently only take two. I suppose there's got to be some nerf in there somewhere. Um, I need an Ascentia monitor. Um, Ascentia terminal. Ascentia storage monitor. Uh, it could be either one of these, actually, so let's just knock them both out. Fuck it, I'm bound to find the one I want eventually. Oh man, I am like so short on everything. Illuminated panels. Um, diffusion and coalescence cores. Didn't I make a bunch of those? Yeah, oh, it's the other stuff I'm short on. That's right, yeah, because I never did... Uh... Do -do -do. Um, oh man, I don't even have a stack of silicone sitting around. I was, would have sworn I was prepared for this episode, but apparently not. My bad. Mm, there you go, we'll knock seven of these out real quick, and then we'll take, uh, silicone in its press. And we'll slap those in there. Silicone. Do, that should help us make a couple of the things we're after. And what else do we need in this crafting recipe? We need V filters. Which I swear I had some of. Yep, 20 of them. There we go. And. Um, I can never remember what all the fucking things are called. Logic processor, that's what it's called. No, did I not just make some logic processors? I swear I did, right? I never took them out. Jesus Christ, I'm terrible today. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Right, so that gives us an Ascentia terminal. Ah, oh, yeah, this lets us view what's in our network. That's what I wanted. Um, the really th real thing I want to know is, this can hold 12 different Ascentia types, and it's currently holding 256 Terra. Okay, I'm going to need a lot of these, because they only hold 12 and there's at least 60, 70 aspects, something like that. Um, yeah, the real thing that I can do, the real good thing I can do here is, I can just be like, this is now the water jar. And then all the water will start balancing in there. In fact, um, I could, technically, uh, I don't even need to remove the labels, because um, the jar will automatically, they'll try and balance between each other, even if they, these ones have labels on them, but then this one will go down to zero, and one of these will be at like one, and it'll be like, okay, I'll send it over there, and it'll just work, it'll just happen. Oh, need to get a new node over there. Da -da -da. Yes, yes. There you go. And Node is so hungry. Yeah, I actually like that as well. This, um... Just showing you straight up. It's kind of interesting that it doesn't have numbers on it, but I can see why. Um, what are these other Ascentia things? Ascentia storage monitor. I'm going to assume... Okay... That ain't right. Uh, I'm going to assume the Ascentia storage monitor. Is it seriously a redstone torch I'm missing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to... It's for... 
like, um, you just tell it a, a type of sentient and it'll be like, you have this much of it. It's one of those. Sentient level emitters. Oh, that's just a shapeless crafting recipe. Okay, a sentient storage monitor. Like that on there. Unlocked, locked. Yeah, this is exact. That's exactly what that is. I don't actually care about that. And last is an Ascentia conversion monitor. What's that? Ooh, what's a conversion monitor? I really, I need more coalescence calls. Yeah, take one. Give me this. Ascentia conversion monitor. Huh, um, no idea. I mean, maybe if I take a glass vial, one, fill it up with terror, and then tell this to be terror. Yeah, it's telling me how much is on there, but I don't know what the conversion part of the conversion monitor is. Oh well, oh, I'll figure that out at some other point. It's all interesting stuff. But yes, the most important thing is this, the infusion provider. You, um, basically, the infusion provider is going to act like every single one of these jars in a single block. And it's going to be able to pull Ascentia from the system and uh, be, it, uh, like it's, it's the bridge between our liquid Ascentia and our liquid Ascentia being stored as data. And it's going to allow me to just put it down and just be like bang and then whenever I'm infusion crafting everything I need can be in my AE system and will be pulled out of here so I no longer need any jars which is one of the greatest things not needing these jars and uh, yeah that's the thing I wanted to get made the most because it's the most important one and it's not easy to make either but now that I've made it, I can use it for other stuff. And I think I should just be able to do that. Device offline. You going to come online anytime soon? There we go, device online. So if I were to make something in there, like I wonder if I've got... Um, I wonder if I can knock out like some uh, formium caps. Yeah, like knock out an inert thormium cap. Um, come in there. Like this. Take that. And then to charge it, I am going to need six aurum. So if we do this, where is aurum on this list? There. Okay, need to make sure I have an empty hand for that. Do that. Yeah, there's not much aurum, but I can do this. All the aurum will drain into the system. There we go. And then, for me cap. I just want to demonstrate this for myself more than anything, so I can prove to myself that it works and everything is fine. And I can stop worrying, because I've never used this shit before. It's, it's nerve-wracking. So... <laughs> It's pulling the uh, Potentia first from over there, and now it's pulling the Aurum, as it should be. Yes, there we go, look at that! It, it worked, it just straight up worked, that is so cool. Oh my god, I don't have to have 150 jars around my infusion altar anymore. Oh, that is so cool! Yes! I'm loving this shit! I'm fucking loving it! Right. Um, that's going to do it for now, because this episode is a little long. Uh, I'm going to clear up all the rest of this and put it all into here. That's what this is going to be for. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I fucking did. I will see you next time. Peace out!